Hey guys, welcome to Health Talks with Bogam Som Timkulu. Yes, that is indeed myself. And today I'm going to tell you more about a condition that is known as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, abbreviated to COPD, which is what I will use because it is a very difficult thing to remember. All right, let's get into this video and see all about this lung disease. COPD is a constant state of inflammation in the lungs, which can affect how air flows in and out of the lungs and its main two causes is emphysema and chronic bronchitis so you can either have both or one of the two your lungs are a pair of spongy air filled sacs that are situated in your chest so up here just above your heart all right and what they what they look like inside is these long tubes and so these tubes go all the way down and then they branch off into smaller tubes and then you have like these little sacks at the end that look like uh, bunches of grapes that are at the bottom and so these tubes are known as your bronchioles and the sacks are known as your alveoli now with chronic bronchitis what happens is you have this constant irritant or toxin that comes into your airways and causes irritation in your tubes. And your immune system um, responds to that by flooding into the area and trying to get rid of that irritant. But if you're constantly adding the irritant, like for example in smoking, if you're constantly adding that uh, smoke into your lungs by inhaling it, then you, your immune system is constantly trying to get rid of it. And eventually it just starts to damage healthy tissue in the, your bronchioles. And when this happens, you have swelling and inflammation and everything that happens in the lungs. Plus you have damage to your actual bronchioles. So they've lost their integrity in what they're meant to do. And this causes excess mucus to be um, expelled into your bronchioles, blocking air flowing in and out quite nicely. And general symptoms you'll get with chronic bronchitis is a cough because you're trying to get rid of that excess mucus that is situated in your lungs because your bronchioles are damaged. But now in emphysema, what you have is damage to those air sacs. So those little grapes are now being damaged, not the tube and what happens when they're damaged is that you have less oxygen that is being taken up by the body so you have less oxygen available to the body for use you also have a lot of air that sits in those areas so those air sacs are important in the exchange of oxygen into the body and then all the waste from the body to be expelled out but when you breathe in you have all this air that goes down there and then when you breathe out only some of the air comes out it is there is always just a little bit that remains in your lungs but now because your alveoli your um, sacs the grapes are damaged they don't expand and relax as easily as they used to so you may breathe in air well but you may struggle to exhale that air so you have more air that is just sitting in the lungs and it causes this buildup. And what happens is like your chest starts to puff up because you, you, you are sort of running out of space to keep um, air that is, has stayed in your lungs, if that makes sense. But um, because of that, now you have decreased oxygen, you have inflammation, and they've also lost integrity. Um, your alveoles have lost their integrity. And when this happens, where you have this excess air that just sits there, less oxygen, plus chronic bron um, bronchitis, where you have the phlegm forming and all that, you have way less air 
that you can take in as well as expel from your body. So the system um, is dysfunctional. And what happens with COPD, unfortunately, is that it's irreversible. It is a progressive disease where the damage just keeps on getting worse over years. It does affect mainly um, older people compared to the younger population and it is definitely caused by smoking. So cutting out smoking is very important to help in getting rid of that irritant that may be irritating your lungs and causing that inflammation from taking place. So now the symptoms you will experience is mainly shortness of breath. You may also experience chest tightness, wheezing, cough and phlegm production. Now you mainly will get the shortness of breath because you're not breathing efficiently, which will cause you to not want to exercise or move much because you don't want to get shortness of breath. But as that happens, you become weaker and won't be able to walk longer or do more tasks because you're not strong enough with the lung capacity that you do have already. The first thing you can do for management is to quit smoking. This includes secondhand smoke. Yes, inhaling and smoke from someone else smoking is just as bad as smoking yourself. The other thing that you're likely to do is get oxygen therapy. So this helps in getting more oxygen into the system and making life a little bit easier for you. You may also be prescribed medication by your doctor to try and open up the airways and make um, and, and let there be less inflammation in your lungs. And lastly, pulmonary, pulmonary therapy. Pulmonary therapy is sort of like exercise, so sort of retraining you how to breathe more efficiently and how to increase your activity levels um, without any strain or any shortness of breath or anything. So it's a functional thing to do to help you physically to, to be independent. The main cause is smoking. Smoking is an irritant to your lungs. So not smoking is a very, very important thing um, to do. But also asthma can lead to COPD um, if, it, if the asthma is left untreated uh, throughout the years because that damage then becomes a permanent thing. And anything that can cause inflammation in general, and specifically to the lungs, can lead to COPD. So like infections that damage the lungs quite badly can lead to um, COPD and so forth. So yes, prevention. Stop smoking. <laughs> smoke, smoke, smoke is not a good thing. Any other irritants, like um, if there are any allergens that, or things that you may be allergic to as well, foods that you may be sensitive, anything that can cause irritation to the lungs is something that you must try limit um, to obviously stop that inflammation from taking place or any effects um, from being worse than what they could be. Also, exercising is very, very important. Exercise keeps you strong. It keeps your lungs working effic efficiently, especially if you breathe efficiently while you are exercising. So it is important to do that as well. It will allow you to be more independent. And also decreasing stress. Stress can cause damage to the body. So decreasing stress is very, very important. Please guys, do decrease your stress. Thanks guys for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. If you are new, click the bell so you do get notifications when I upload new videos. Also share this. It is some good information for people to know about um, COPD and how smoking can cause emphysema and chronic bronchitis leading to COPD and a decrease in your functional ability overall. And yes guys, I hope you guys do have a great week. And I'll see you soon. Bye.